lot of us at Rayside Jose thought that Mauricio actually won the fight. We scored the fight for him. And I wonder if you had any question in your mind when the bell and it rang, did you think you had won? You know, I, I felt that I did enough to win the fight. He was, I was going to the ropes and he was throwing punches that weren't really landing. You know, he was hitting me in the elbow, hitting me behind the head. And all the punches that I threw, you know, were cleaner shots. I was catching him with short uppercuts, body shots, right hands, clean jabs. But obviously, you could tell by his face, you know, his face is all bruised up and I really have nothing. So, I mean, that, that could kind of say, you know, say something. I, I felt like I did great, you know. I had a great camp behind me. And we worked our ass off for this fight. And I showed everyone what I could do. It, it seemed that you kept going to the ropes. And I think if I heard correctly, your dad was telling you not to do that. And, and it seemed like when you were in the middle of the ring, you were landing the right hands, and you were actually able to really land some clean, flush shots. So why did you go to and You know, I was doing going to the ropes, too, as well, because um, I kind of wanted to tire him out a little bit, because he would go to the ropes and just throw nothing but kind of dumb, you know, hooks. And I see everything when, when I'm sparring. I, I like fighting off the ropes, you know. I can see everything coming. So, I mean, I kind of did that, too, to tire him out. And, yeah, my dad was telling me not to go to the ropes. He likes me fighting inside the ring using my dad more in the middle. But, I mean, like I said, I did what I had to do, and I ended the night victorious. So, I mean, I, I I'm thankful for that, and I'm thankful for my team being behind me. Also, Bob Aaron for giving me this, this opportunity. I'm, I'm thankful. Any other questions? What's that? Uh, hey, go ahead. Pass, pass the microphone. Jose, para el Ponte Cubano, ¿en algún momento te sentiste que estabas perdiendo esa pelea? Did you feel that you were losing the fight? You know, I didn't, time? I didn't feel that I was losing the fight at all. Like I said, I mean, when I was going to the ropes, all the punches he was throwing were punches that weren't even landing, you know, but elbow shots, shots behind the head, and he was also complaining not to, saying I was throwing a lot low, low shots. But I mean, like I said, every shot that I was throwing, pretty much most every jab that I would throw, I'd hit him with, you know, every body shot I'd hit him with, every short uppercut I'd hit him with. So like I said, I feel like I did enough to win the fight. And obviously, you know, I, I came out the, the, the victor and I won the fight, so I feel great. Any other questions? Would a rematch with Mauricio Guerrero be something you could be thinking about? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not scared at all. You know, I'll give him a rematch. We'll give him a rematch. I'll beat him even worse. So, I mean, to me, the guy, I mean, he's a tough guy. I take nothing from him, but doesn't hit hard. I mean, doesn't. I didn't feel that like he had any power. I didn't feel that like he hard. All the punches, like I said, all the punches he was throwing were landing, you know, in my elbows, behind my head, and pretty much there weren't no clean shots. So, I mean, if he wants a rematch, I'll give him a rematch, no problem. I'm not ducking or dodging from anyone. There was a fight, he was uh, pushing you to the ropes. What was he doing that kept you in the ropes in a couple of rounds? Yeah, he was, he was trying to push me to the ropes and you know, try to just throw wild hooks. Like I said, trying to hit me behind the head or body shots. But I mean, I could see those punches coming. What I was just trying to do, you know, wait for, for those shots and then counter them with the short uppercuts. I caught him a lot of time, you know, with the short uppercuts. So that's the same reason why, you know, I went to the ropes and, and pretty much, it was pretty much tiring him out too. And there was times too that, I think I could have stopped the guy, you know, but you know, I had never fought a 12 rounder before, so I had to be prepared for that. I didn't want to cast myself out, and I mean, I felt great. You know, like I said, I had a great camp behind me, and we did what we had to do tonight.